Olá, seus caralhos! Welcome to a new video! So, if you're not aware, I beat the game. My lovely wife, done. Every ending, done. Every bad ending, done. Every succubus, done. Every story ending, done. Everything's done. I've seen it all. I, there's only some scenes I haven't seen, but that I'm not gonna do that. Jesus, no more. I'm done with the grind. So, I've done this, the endings. All of them. I've seen what the characters are all like. So you know what that means? That means I get to tell you which ones are the best waifus. Yes, my opinion is more valid than yours. Learn your place. Anyway, here we go. This is George Gale, and we're going to do a tier list of every single succubus in the game, including two extras that are not summonable but are in the story. So, let's sort this. So, the Atlas, very cute, huggable, huggable size, adorable, A, A rank. Let's go. Agash, I love the design. I love the personality, I would put it in S rank, however, there is a problem that I dislike about her. I hate her bad ending, I detest it, I can't stand it, I hate everything about it, and I do not want anything to do with it. So we're gonna downgrade her to an A, a rank. Bastard, Bastard, she's cute, I like her design, really good design, personality, a bit more on the miffy, but still pretty good, pretty high tier. A bad ending, eh, good ending, amazing. Uh, I'm gonna put her A rank, good design to us. Uh, the Beriff, Beriff, gonna be very honest, kind of in the mid tier. She's very average, she's, a sum, she's the first one you get. And her endings, not that special. They're just very average, and that's kind of what this succubus is. She's the average, so she goes to B. I mean, B is pretty good by itself. Cosby, um, no. I hate them. I mean, they're not trash, they're not trash, but uh, I just don't like them that much. I don't like them. And their endings, not that amazing. Dialan. Dialan? Dialan's pretty cute. However, I have a problem with her personality. It's very human-like, you know, and among all these demons, a human-like personality comes off as average, you know? I was kind of expecting her to be a psycho, and technically she is, but you only see that at the ending, you don't really get to see that during the conversations, so the ending really is just a, a got you moment where they catch you by surprise. Outside of that, she's pretty bland, she's pretty one noted, so B rank. Next one, the Inu. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like the battle hungry. I put her ID. However, I will admit that her bad ending is pretty nice, and the fact that she's one of the few that outright. Um, confronts the MC about killing succubus. It's also a pretty good one. So she goes on the C. Um, Hala, um, D rank. I feel like her succubus form needed a bit more work, a bit too rough around the edges. Um, she is thick, but her endings are also not that special. They're just resolved around food. Even her good ending is still around food. Nothing really special about her. Um, so we're gonna just put her on the D rank. Callus. So Callus. I'm gonna be very honest. Design wise, not very impressive. I would put her in the C rank just for the design. However, our endings, A rank, if not above. I'm not gonna put her in S rank because I think her design pushes her down. But her endings, top notch. They're really good. Both good endings and bad endings. Really love the implications of the bad ending where she is the one in control. And really like the good ending where she's free to do whatever she wants. Really love them. So, she goes on to the A tier. Kazu. Oh boy. I don't like her. I don't know why. I just dislike her design. I think her design is weird. Um, it's not even the fact that she's a bug lady. Because I actually do like bug ladies. But I don't know. Is it because she's just too thin? She looks like a... I don't know, like a, a straw, like, I don't know, there's something about her design that just doesn't click to me, and her endings are also kind of on the, too focused on the science, I was hoping her good ending would be a bit more interesting, but no, her good ending was still just 
focused on science and that for me was a letdown and it was also kind of annoying to get her good ending because it wasn't an intuitive ending every single ending is about working the succubus outside out of their uh, uh, fascination out of their obsessions except for Kasu who you don't actually work out of their obsession you just have to redirect their obsession to a different direction which still continues to be science and was kind of a letdown um lamia i'll be very honest although i will agree that quality wise her design is pretty high there i actually don't think her design is well that is that well made um i don't know why she has only features when she's supposed to be a lamia and she has more like and she's wearing like egyptian like clothing as well as some you know western more uh, more western style like I don't know, she's a mixture of different cultures, and that just doesn't click to me. You have the horns of a Honi, you have the elf ears, you have the snakes, the more Egyptian side, and then her normal human form is she wearing Chinese clothes. She's lower all over she's all over the place when it comes to stylization, which kind of just doesn't click on me. Her personality is also pretty nasty. Um normally I would put her on D rank, but I will say that her good ending and her bad ending are pretty decent. Um, they're not amazing, but I'd say they raise her to at least C rank. Luzbel, a Megame lady. I mean, she's Megame. She is thick, so she's pretty good design. Um, my problem, uh, the endings themselves were not that amazing. Uh, I will give that her bad ending was probably the most interesting one because it was a bad ending where nothing bad actually happens to the MC. She just becomes super obsessed with finding cures and kind of ignores of the MC. I'll give her a B rank list. I mean, amazing design, amazing concept, amazing personality, everything clicks. Um, bad ending, pretty on point, and good ending, pretty on point. I think she's one of the best succubus that was made. Obviously, not for everyone, and I'll be very honest, she's not the one that I like the most, but I can objectively look at her and say, yeah. Yeah, she's pretty well made, she's pretty on point, her personality makes sense, her endings make sense, everything about her makes sense, Ace S rank. Damn, we got the Mare. Mare, I love Mare, I love Mare, and I love Mare. <laughs> uh, so, Mare has a very interesting design, well, not an interesting design, I will say the Mare's design is a bit lackluster, I will admit to that, but um, it fits her personality. And I really think that Mare has probably the best endings of the entire game. Like, the best endings by far. The most, like, her bad ending is, just comes out of nowhere. I did not expect it, really caught me off guard. And the fact that I got her bad ending before the good ending made me appreciate so much more the good ending. Um, I think if you s encounter a good ending first, and then the bad ending, you probably don't get as much of a, a good experience with her. But if you encounter her bad ending first, it really raises like the appreciation for her good ending. Since so the first, the bad ending, you get her, you understand that she's actually very insecure and is full of depression. And when you see her all happy and dandy in the good ending, it makes you really feel happy about her. So I'll give her an S rank. Really like the character, <laughs> Nimu. Um, I don't know about her design. Um, I kind of understand the aesthetics, not really a fan of it. I will say though that I did like the endings for the Nemu. Um, I found that the endings were actually pretty on point. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I don't really have much to say about the Nemu. I found her to be a bit, I don't know, boring. Um, I understand what they were trying to do. They were trying to go for like a Chad Alpha um, confident succubus. But I don't know, it just came off as meh. You know, kind of like one note. Um, there wasn't particularly cold. There weren't particularly qu any particular quirk about her that stood made her stand out. She just felt very. She's well designed, and she has good uh, good endings, but she doesn't stand out among all the other succubi, and that's kind of why she's a B. Like she, if she stood out, if there was, she had just one quirk that made her stand out among the others, i probably put her above, like maybe A rank, but she doesn't stand out, she just feels very like meh, she's kind of background character. So we go for a B rank. Nocti, Nocti, 
amazing design, amazing personality. She makes you her pillow. I mean, S rank waifu, no contest. Ornia, I don't like Ornia. Oh my god, I do not like Ornia. Um, I will be very honest. I legit think Ornia's design is bad. Um, not the worst one. We'll get to the worst one. She's she. We're almost there. But she has one of the weakest designs in the game and like sketch level. Like legitimately, when I look at her design and I compare her to like many of the other ones, like Nocti, List, Agash, um, Bast uh, Bastet, um, Lamia, even like Kazu and, and Hala, like her design, Onia's design just feels like it's incomplete. Like it's something that's a rough sketch and not in a complete art. I don't know why that is, but I feel like her heart needed a bit more work. And as far as endings goes, and um, I mean, I liked her uh, bad ending. It was pretty nice. Um, you know, the entire context behind it. But in general, I'll say that meh, not really that impressed. And, you know, just in general, I think that she needed a bit more work. Um, Shayasta. Shayasa is a lolly that you marry or you kill. Oh boy, this game really plays 5D chess with you regarding Shayasta. But regarding Shayasta, I'll be very honest, I actually like Shayasta. Uh, very cool design. Uh, personality fits the design. And in general, our endings are pretty decent. They're not outstanding. If they were better, I'd put her in S rank. But outside of like the endings, everything about her is pretty top notch. Pretty impressed by her designs and by her personality. Um, Taura. Taura is a character that suffers a lot of problems for me. So, Taura, um, design-wise, feels like a sketch. Uh, feels very incomplete. I feel like her design needed a bit more work. Um, clearly, there are designs that had a lot more work on this game than others, and Taura is one that did not have as much work as others. Um, another problem that she has is her personality is way too aggressive. Um, kind of the same problem as Inu to be uh, as Inu here, and I don't know. There's something about her that just doesn't click for me. However, I will say this: I did like her endings, although I will say that there wasn't a build-up for it, right? So there was a build-up for her uh, bad ending, but there was not a build-up for her good ending. Her good ending. Kind of just shows up out of nowhere. I legitimately didn't feel like I deserved the good ending. And I was like, why do I even have a good ending? Like, I legitimately didn't feel like any of our conversations would lead to a good ending. And that's because her personality is way too aggressive. But I did like the fact that she carried us like a princess. So I'll put her at B rank. If it wasn't for her good ending being so cute, I would probably put her at like a D. Because I legitimately feel like she needed a bit more work. Especially in the design. Because I feel like the design is just too rough around the edges. It feels like a sketch, even. Um, then, for the last of the succubi, what we got here, it's Varid. Varid, I... Oh my god. Talk about a... Oh, talk about, like, a weak design. Um, man, if there is a character that really feels like a sketch... It's Varid. Varid feels completely incom feels like an incomplete character, and you can really tell because she has two forms, and both forms really showcase the weakness of her design. I don't know what it is. It just feels like it's a sketch, like it's incomplete, like it's not a, the official final art. You know, maybe they were rushing and they just grabbed whatever they had and put it into the game. Um, but like when you put her next to other characters, like you put her against Lamia, you put her against the Inu, you put her against even like Cosby, you can immediately tell that her design is lacking something. It's lacking, you know, refinement. And her personality being, and the problem that her personality has, is that she doesn't really have a personality. Which is pretty bad because it's very clear that they went with the whole quirk of double personality. But that's all they went with it. And that's all she is, a quirk. And quirks are not personalities. So, we go there. It's a D. Her endings, are, it's fine. No, nothing special. Her good ending is kind of on the nicer side. But that's all there is to it. Nothing more, nothing much. So, 
D rank. Now finally we have the two last ones. We got Osmondius and we got Luna. And we're going to rank them anyway, even though you can't really have them. But I'm going to rank them since they are part of the endings. Asmundius, when I first saw him, I was like, yeah, S rank, that smile, man, that smile. There's just one problem. I don't like liars. I hate villains that lie. To me, the best villains are the villains that never lie. Every single saying they say is true. And it's scary how they can manipulate by using only truth. He's not that. He's a liar. And that immediately makes him a D rank in my opinion. L uh, villains that lie, obviously they work, especially in narratives. But I personally think that if you can make a villain, you know, if you're making a villain, especially like a supreme villain like the Demon Lord, you'd want to make him not feel like a generic bad villain and he just feels like a generic bad villain if he if he had kept his promise you know and not in the aha you're gonna be together in the afterlife it's like sure whatever i would have made put him at s rank but the fact that he lied nah out of here you're a trash luna be very honest throughout the entire game never cared about luna never cared about luna I did not care about Luna. I was just I more I cared more about Asmondias than I did about Luna, until I saw the endings, and I it was a complete flip. I hated Asmondias. I loved Luna. Luna S rank. I love her ending. I love the ending with her where she kills you, you know, because the MC deserves to die. I love it, but she realizes that she actually loved you, and that full respect. Luna, perfect waifu, S rank, and that is it. Here you go. This is the official tier list of waifus in My Lovely Wife. You have no power here. This is the truth. Anyway. Comment down below if you agree, disagree, or if you would change anyway. Or hey, maybe you could go to the tier maker and make your own list. Hey, how about that, huh? I made this list. There was no list. I had to make it myself. So yeah, here we go. Anyway, thank you all for watching. This has been Georgie Gale. And until next time, bye bye